Welcome to Weld.com, I'm Man Cub. Hey, this is round two for Art Shots. Hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. Enjoy these clips. As you can tell by the Arc Shot, by the bead appearance, it's very cold, stacked up. We weren't actually even clearing any kind of a transfer and establishing a weld pool. Mr. Uh, uh, Sean Flotman, ladies and gentlemen, AKA Dabs Wellington on Instagram. All right, so we're at a 1.10 on the trim value now. As you can see, the puddle is a lot more fluid than the previous pass. My line of sight as I'm sitting here is right into this. I can see where I'm going the entire way. I'm, I'm comfortable, I'm at arm's length. has a, a much greater cut quality. So it has almost a 90 degree vertical up and down cut quality so it doesn't taper in. Uh, this should be a full 200 amps here. Again, just walking some fill passes in here to get the feel of how the arc is gonna react. Maximum capacity of the machine should be 285. So here's how I, here's how I produce the beauty for you. See if we can do another one. dabbing 116 4043 filler into it. So it doesn't take long to heat this up and just keep a good consistent dab going. Just by switching out my polarity to DC negative, I'm getting a much smoother bead appearance. So that spatter is virtually gone. The weld is spreading out much wider. What you just saw is what you should be able to see while you're welding. <clears throat> you should be able to see the edges of the weld you should be able to see the height or the crown. You should be able to see where your torch is, your filler wire. You should be able to see everything around your weld. Uh, about a five second arc shot or so, just so we can look at the envelope and see what this grind does. More spatter. A lot of spatter. Yeah. But the uh, puddle's popping on me. To me, that just sounds rank. Yeah. I mean, stay with it. Keep running it. All right, so the technique I'm going to use is just a standard drag technique. I'm going to do a slow, steady pull, just like you would any other 7018. But uh, this one's under the giant stinger, apparently. This next one's gonna be 30 degree without a blunt. <clears throat> this is what I use predominantly. Kinda of depends on the application, joint configuration, but I'll use this grind a lot. Went too slow, so that happens. That tells you you need to speed up a little bit. I can either move my body around and get more comfortable, then I come back and reposition myself. That's a little trick. Some running roots out in the field and and even in the weld lab in the classroom, they go a little bit too fast and you start seeing all these little holes mm. where they jump together. Or they, <laughs> I'm sorry, they outran their, their root that they, they weren't maintaining that root keyhole all the way up. I just go 1001, dip, move up. 1001, same thing, dip. Make sure my pile's not too big or too small. I'm just dabbing. But I set my machine at 110 amps. Well, I'm running probably half a pedal. I don't know exactly. This next one's gonna be 30 degree grind with a blunt on the end. And that, folks, was a slow motion in real time of how short arc actually works. The wire comes down and bumps into the grounded material, initiates the arc, the wire burns back. It's running pretty smooth right now. Uh, just keep going through. I mean, it's just pictured almost as if it's a small stick welding electrode because that's essentially what flux core is. It's a welding rod kind of sucked inside out. Right. It's like the weld pool is like laying in the groove. It's not doing anything. It's not impressive. So that was EN. To me, it looked softer and quieter. Should be crowned up about the same, maybe just a skosh higher.
So we took the filler wire, or I'm sorry, we took the coating off of the uh, stick electrode and just ran it as a bare wire. And actually, uh, when I struck the arc on that, I was able to just keep feeding it in there and it's got a little bit different profile to it. But the reality is I'm real close to the liquidus of 3,000 degrees. There's people running way too slow, way too much amps. When that happens, you're gonna cook the stainless, you're gonna cook all the chromium out of it and all the nickel, all right? So when we get done here, it's gonna be like dark colors, probably dark pink, maybe all gray, probably all gray. We're gonna run this about halfway and then we're gonna let Man Cup take over and give it a try. Sweet. With a very slight stick. Up inside there it forces you to long arc. You don't know where you're at. Uh, it's hard to get the filler wire on the leading edge of the pool as well. So I think by that arc shot you can see that our last grind that we want to display here is a 60 degree. I don't use this very often, <clears throat> but I will use it on certain joint configurations, especially in piping. All right, so how'd you guys like the arc shots? Make sure you guys stay tuned to every Monday and Friday uh, episodes at 5.30. Learning is key. I hope everyone stays safe. Have fun, guys.